Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Where are you calling from, Nikhil? India. Okay. You are a Sanatani? Oh, yeah, I'm a Hindu. Okay. Good. So, um, Ganesh, tell us about Ganesh and tell us about uh, your views. Uh, I mean, is it an interview something of me? No, no, no. Our, our topic today, if you read it, yeah, it's, Hindu festival. You see this yes. calling Ganesh, Ganesh Chaturthi, Chaturthi. right? Ganesh Chaturthi. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Exactly. Yeah. So this is the topic today. So what are your views on Ganesh Chaturthi? Do you follow it? Do you believe it? Do you appreciate the story? Do you think the story is real? Do you think Ganesh was a real person? Or, or do you think it's just myths? Uh, I don't know. I... I... I mean, as as a Hindu, uh, as a human, I believe mm -hmm. like these guys like have ex existed, but for sure I don't know. If not, uh, considering the other part, Ganesh Chaturthi, yeah, I celebrated it because it has uh, a lot to do with our uh, religious beliefs, plus mm -hmm. our uh, you know uh, the struggle of freedom as well, because the Ganesh Chaturthi was. Uh, in the beginning, Ganesh Chaturthi was celebrated in privately in homes, uh, but uh, our freedom fighter, Mr. Uh, Shri Bal Gangadhar Tilak, you know, uh, you know, you know what what I can say, proposed this idea that we should do it in a pub as a public event so that we can gather here, uh, gather. so we as Indians gather there, and uh, you know you know, make ideas and plan how we can, you know, attain freedom from the British Empire. And yeah, so so that's the thing. So, so that's why we celebrate it's so, you know, in such a big Yeah, yeah no, no, we're, so, we're, because let's it has go back to the uh, let's go back to, Sorry, let's go back to the beginning again. So obviously on this channel, we, we do a primarily a theological slash spiritual discussion. You know, we don't really go into the political side of things. So if we, if we look at your understanding of Ganesh as mm -hmm. per the the story, so which story do you take? Do, because we, we, we have, we've we had this program on now with five hours almost, over five yeah, hours. Yeah, I have heard yeah. only one story, like, uh, like he was uh, 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 the son of uh, Lord Shiva and uh, his wife Parvati. And yeah, so he was not produced by Parvati, but mm -hmm. uh, I guess yeah, he she 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 made uh, made him. Like, uh, what, so so do, so do you believe it was the it was the head of an elephant that was used, or the head of a demon, or the head no, no, of no, was, uh, like in the beginning it was a head of a normal boy, right? Yes, of course. Okay, After, but, but normal human following normal human. following sort of Shiva's um, um, let's say violence. Um, violence. This head was replaced with a with a head of an elephant. Now, according mm -hmm. to your tradition, there's actually two, three different stories. One is it was a normal elephant with a head that was pointing north that they found. The second one, it was the head of a, a demon elephant, which mm -hmm. was attached. And the third one which is an elephant of the, the a white elephant that that is ridden by one of your gods. So, which story do you do, do you follow in your tradition? I think this north one I have heard. The North, okay, yeah. okay. So, sorry, Hishu. He meant a normal elephant. A normal elephant. North. Okay. No, I mean, you said it, something. So it's the elephant's elephant elephant head that was yeah. facing north. So it's a normal uh, elephant. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the question we had was, when that was done, Shiva blessed this now new creation, and gave some very specific instructions. And the instruction was, was Ganesha is now the first of all the gods to be worshipped or or, or um, uh, revered. Do you also yeah, follow? Uh, so it was like, uh, yeah, I mean, yes, uh, if we have any uh, big uh, puja or something uh, mm -hmm. in our home, yeah, we do worship, not like a very, like we start with worship of Ganesha, like uh, uh we just uh chant some mantras of Ganesha and something yeah like the, we, but we started from yeah correct you're okay. saying but it it he was not blessed like that the way you were told he was uh it was another story like uh, anyways yeah so i agree with your point we worship him first yeah but okay. do you actually so, believe this was literal like the way no, as i said as i said see see if i if i 
if I would have to say it was literal, I would have used the term I know. But I said I believe. It's just a belief. Okay. See, the so belief, when you say you believe, do you think this... Belief. Sorry, what? Sorry. Yeah. When you say you believe, do you actually know or you believe Shiva exists? I believe, yeah. I don't know. Okay. So what, what would require for you to know something? Uh, a good evidence, right? Like... Mm -hmm. What is the evidence God exists? There's no evidence, right? Okay, so does that mean... As of now, as of now, yeah. Is it and, possible and, in, uh, your, in your worldview that this belief could be wrong? And you could be exactly, an atheist? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it could be okay. wrong. So you're, yeah. you're not this, the average Hindu, I would say. Yeah. So you don't even believe take, in God, am I right? Actually, actually, I will take that, that as a compliment because you said I'm not... I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> If, no, if no, it's really, it is, is it a compliment. Looking, I mean, what I would say is, if you're actually you're actually thinking, you're using your intellect and saying, "Look, I have no, you know, rationally available evidence that would say this was absolute, re you know, historical reality." At the end uh, of the day, just one point to make. Just one point to make. Not about this religion only. Any particular religion, like there is no concrete evidence that. Uh, you know, can be put in front of me as of now, which can make me uh, say that, yeah, this is the correct one. But, but, okay, so so we we say different. We say Islam does have evidence, real evidence. And I don't think so. Some of, it, some of it is carbon dated to the time Sorry, of what? the Prophet. Sorry, what? We have, so we actually make a different claim. So Islam makes a different claim. Islam ha is evidence-based mm -hmm. and it is based on certainty of belief. So okay. belief, so, and w your definition of belief and our definition of belief is different. Uh -huh. So there is a difference between blind belief and belief that is, is what we what we'd call justifiable, either logically or philosophically, right? Okay. Give me, a, can you give me an difference. example. Yeah. Yeah. So for example, if we, if we say, if we say, um, if we, if we take a typical argument, a philosophical argument around uh, around reality, what we say is all of existence as we know it is contingent. Mm -hmm. It's a contingent uh, reality. What does that mean? Yeah. It means everything in reality depends on something else or or relies on some other aspect of reality in order for it to, to work. So, for example, you know, you have a phone. A phone doesn't work without without battery. A battery requires energy. Well, energy comes from, ultimately, it comes from the sun. The sun exists in, in the solar system. The solar system exists in the universe. And so there is a, a there is like a contingent chain of, of things. Uh, can now, you, what uh, we say is... Can I just okay. put in some something yes. here uh, before, before you go too long? Just uh, one thing. Uh, how do you come to this point that everything depends on everything uh, or, or on something? on something how do you come to this good yeah good so the the category of contingent things as we know them if there was not uh sorry if everything so we have we have so if we have a set of all contingent things right say say contingent only then it needs an explanation where did they come from yeah, so we are searching for it. Why do we have to make an assumption that it was made it made by some god? Like, yeah. But, 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 no, no, we don't. We can say so, we don't well, know it. Like we don't. We can say we don't know it, and we are searching for it. We know, like for what we have the evidence, and we don't know for we don't for for we vote uh, for we for what we don't have an evidence. We don't have to assume something like like for example, we don't know what was there before the Big Bang, so we don't have to assume that it was uh, before that there has to be God who you know something uh, he he created that right. We we can say we don't know. We will find out maybe someday. Okay, but we don't have to say we don't know because you can logically follow that through. So I, I don't know. Do, do you do you have like a are you a, do you have a, a what what is do you have a science background or a business background? What what sort of background do you have? Uh, yeah, as an edu like education background, yeah. I do have yeah, a science yeah. background, but uh, yeah, like good. as a profession, okay. I am so, a businessman. Yeah. Okay, fantastic, very good. So you understand the scientific method, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
So, I mean, yeah. we all learned this in, in sort of basic sort of um, mm -hmm. science at school where you, you do an experiment, well, you have a hypothesis, you do an experiment, you, you look at the test results and you, you compare them against what you expected and then you, you either iterate that test and go on. Now, when you do that, there's some assumptions. The assumptions is that everything you have is explainable by material forces, material rules. And even if you can't explain it, you assume that there is some material explanation to it. The challenge is, of course, not everything in reality is material only, right? And, and as, as spiritual um, beings that we are, and believers, we know that we have a material aspect to ourselves and we have a non-material aspect to ourselves. Uh, so, sir, can I say, uh, yeah, okay, can I now say something, yeah. sir? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. So, when you say, like, when you put in a spirituality thing in between, I think that contradicts with science because in science there is no uh, exactly. you know, space for no, I, I spirituality. Agree. Yeah. Yes, no I, no, I agree. So, that is the limits of science now. So, so, so no. science. Okay, yeah. Please, please uh, go ahead, and then I will make my point here. So, the, the reason I'm expecting, the reason I'm expecting, the reason I'm saying this is, is mm. science has limitations, which means that if you expect all evidence to be material evidence, then you're already limiting your your set of answers that you could look for, right? So, when mm. when you say when you say contingent things. How do you know contingent things, that all contingent things are necessary, are contingent? It's because the set of all contingent things need an explanation. And the question is, what is the best explanation for them? And the explanation of all contingent things is not another contingent thing. Right? So uh, logically, I mean, this, this, is a, this is not science now. This is logic. Yeah, this is not science. This is this is logic. So so the question is is where did everything come from? So whether you call it space, time, atoms, protons, neutrons, fields, whatever you call them, what, where did they originate from? And the question is 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 did it originate from nothing, mm -hmm. or or did it come from somewhere or something? Okay. Now can I say right? Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So let's. So yeah. So let's talk with uh, now in uh, on the basis of logic, right? So yeah, uh, I think uh, that's a good question, but uh, but in the end, I partially partially don't agree with you. Uh, and uh, in the which, end, which which, you, which which do you which bit which piece do you not agree with? In the the last the last part where you say that uh, something. Uh, has to come from a creator. Uh, no, sorry, you said something no, I didn't. Uh, from nothing. What, what I said, must be a creator. Okay. No, no, I said we need an explanation for mm -hmm. where did all these contingent things come from. Yes, correct. And then you gave two possibilities that it came from nothing or there has to be a smart creator, right? No, I didn't. No, I said it has to be nothing or something. It has to be nothing or something. Yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 you're hearing things that I didn't say. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that's my bad. Okay, okay. So you said yeah. nothing or something, but yes. uh, in in that something there can be a lot of possibilities, right? Well, look, how, like, how can you say how can you say that there is only one possibility in that? No, no, no. no I'm not saying that. So you're assuming mm -hmm. again. So if so, so let's explore the nothing option. Can nothing? So first of all, let's define nothing. When I say nothing, what what do you understand nothing to be? Do you, do you have a like a, a definition? Nothing is nothing, like absence of something. Absence of everything, right? Everything, yeah, everything, yeah. Absence. I, I, there's absolutely zero. There's no mass, yeah, no electron, no no nothing. Right. So can this nothing give rise to anything? Makes sense, yeah, correct. Exactly. So, so therefore, this is discounted. You know, as a as a logical possibility. This, so, secondly, it must be something. So, whatever this something is, we don't know what this something is, but this something mm -hmm. has to have at least one essential attribute straight away. One is 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 it must be not in the contingent set, because if it's in the contingent set, 
it becomes contingent. So therefore, it has to be outside of that set. Does that make sense? Uh, can you just elaborate, please, a little bit? Yeah. In so some easy words. Yeah. So so okay. Let's see. Okay. So mm -hmm. so if if I create something, uh, yeah. let's, 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 use, let's use a very simple example. Mm -hmm. If if a carpenter makes a table, does the table become the carpenter? No. Right. So the carpenter and the table are two different categories of things. Right. Even though the carpenter made the table, the table is in no way like the carpenter, and the carpenter is in no way like the table. But okay. there is a dependency. There, there is a there is a continue. There is sort of one requires the other, but the the other one doesn't. You see, the carpenter doesn't need the table, but the table requires the carpenter. Okay. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Okay. And so then, yeah. if we if we sort of build that up a little bit, I mean, we're not saying we're not saying. I mean, we're using logic right now. We'll get to whether this is God or not God later on. Uh, right? sure. mm -hmm. So so the logic is is whatever created all of all of existence, all of contingency, all of these contingent things, must be not contingent. So we have two categories of things now: all contingent things, and then this whatever created these contingent things must be not contingent, not dependent, must be independent. So, yeah, so again, I have to, you know, uh, um, uh, and before answering this to you, I have to refute this because, see, again, you are, you know, uh, pre-assuming that uh, the creator has to be not contingent. Here, again... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not, I, look, I haven't mentioned creator yet. Okay, please All give your statement again. What are the possibilities? You see, the possibilities are either whatever whatever originated all of these contingent things is contingent itself, or it's not contingent. What is the is there a third category? Yeah. So, how do you? What well, that's my point. How do you know something originated from some non-contingent or contingent, whatever good. it is? Right. Okay. Yeah. Good. So, the fact that we exist needs an explanation mm -hmm. the fact that this universe exists needs an explanation needs an That's explanation sure. mm -hmm. yeah and the explanation is is where did it come from now there are two places it can come from it can come from something that is itself contingent i dependent on something else or it comes from something that is so not contingent why cannot be it just be eternal good great question so if whatever is is eternal uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, it just needs an explanation now i think if you okay. use uh, cause and effect it'll be much more um yeah. no, no, no. Much, I, much, I, much i'm more... trying to because the problem yeah so we run yeah. to so if so, you say so it's the eternal, argument it goes like this if anything began to exist then it must have a cause well the this is a different argument now. Exist, hence go ahead on, on the cause. what do you think of that Nikhil? Hello. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, uh, you said if anything began to exist. I, it no, must before have that, a cause. I said, um, ah, yeah, sorry. so any, anything that begins to exist must have a cause. The universe began to exist, therefore, the universe must have a cause. Hence, the question is what is the cause of this universe? See, uh, again, as I said, uh, when I say I know something, I, you know, uh, back up it on the observations. So, Considering the observations and evidence we have, we just have, if we go back, we, we reach till Big Bang. How was it caused? We don't know. So I cannot give really an answer for this because I will just say I don't know. That's my no, point. But it's, not, it's not about I don't know. The scientists themselves, the one who posited the Big Bang theory, <laughs> they, they say that it began to exist 13.8 billion years ago. Okay, no, so it's not they, us saying they, it; it's them saying it, based on the evidence, based on the. You the know, scientists, the, the scientists didn't say Big Bang began to exist fourteen point eight billion something years ago. Well, they gave an age. The scientist, the scientist said that universe started to expand from that point of time. Yes, so the expansion they, yeah. was the beginning. No, it, no. What was the, the beginning? Big does not say that. What was the beginning? We don't know what is the beginning. No, they say, in, why do they say 13.8 science, million? The, 
something began to expand okay. from so point of time. Began to ex- that, no, no, the expansion yeah. happened during the Planck time, before they call it the singularity. And the Planck time is only a fraction of a second or something. And that's when it began to exist. The, no scientist has evidence that the universe is eternal. Anyway, so Nikhil, we're going off topic. So, so the question is, 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 these are the questions. So when you say we don't know, but there are questions that need answers. And the questions are, why do we exist? Where did we come from? And how can we establish this? We can have this on a different discussion because today is not that. Yeah. But the reason the yeah, sure. re- reason I brought this up was was as part of your um, your tradition, this um, Ganesh Chaturthi that you follow, mm-hmm. um, the festival itself. Mm-hmm. What we established was was that post this ceremony being, or sorry, this this Ganesha being established, this particular festival was actually lost for many thousands of years until it was revived during the time of the British. So the question we have is, is if this was a command from Shiva, i.e. you should pray to Ganesh or, or revere Ganesh, then why was it forgotten for so long? Is it because you don't take the commands of your God seriously? Or is it because your tradition was lost? Or, or was it a third reason? No, first of all, uh, I think... Uh, you a little bit there was a difference what actually shiva said and what you are saying he did not right. command it he did not commanded us or humans to uh, worship ganesh in the beginning of any puja he blessed him that everyone will uh, you know uh, from now on everyone will uh, worship you whenever they have to start their puja he there's there's a difference he being blessed and uh, being commanded is two different things number one number two uh i don't think i don't have any evidence like uh, from where you are getting this that uh it was again started during the time of british what i did say was it was practiced only in home at that time of mm-hmm. uh, at that point of time bal ganga the tilakji made it a public event you know proposed it to be a public event that was the difference so was that was that an innovation because or was that written in the tradition somewhere that this should be a public event no i i told you it was it uh, bal gangadhar tilakji was a freedom fighter so he made it public that uh, he made that even public so that we gather and plan how to you know uh, pro- protest or you know uh, you know what what i was say uh, make this struggle of freedom uh, successful and you know, expel out the okay. British from it. Well, I understand that. So, so the question is, though, is this is now a religious practice, yes? The question is, is, what was the authority of this individual to make it a religious practice that was like this? So, I mean, so, I mean do you have any, do you have any, like, like, like you know, this Yeah. No, uh, what? Okay, so. So, so uh, was he the authority and that was it? Yeah, I mean, you don't need a religious authority. Uh, if 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 something is causing a good effect on the society, you should do it, right? But it's not really, okay. is it? If you look at the festival of Ganesha, it no, causes but more we, problems but, in the society uh, than it actually solves. Sorry, what? If you if you actually look at the festival of Ganesh Chaturthi or many mm-hmm. other Hindu festivals. They cause okay. a lot of environmental problems, a lot of yeah. health issues, a lot mm-hmm. of um, you know noise pollution and air pollution and all of that, water pollution. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for you to say, first and foremost, you, you're saying that you believe this is true, but you don't know if it is true, which yeah, itself so, yeah. is a problem. It's like me saying, oh, hold on. So you're saying that you believe your birthday is uh, on the 17th of, uh, say, September. But yeah. you don't know if it is on the seventeenth of September, but you still celebrate your birthday. You see what I mean? It's pointless to celebrate your birthday if you're not born on that day. No, uh, I don't think that argument actually validates because why is uh, that? For, like uh, I know where. Because uh, you just you can anybody can make of, up a date and celebrate it as their birthday. Then. Yeah, if 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 someone does that, what's the problem? <laughs> the problem is it's not something that you firmly believe in. But 
but if if uh, some if i am celebrating one, a birthday on one hand you're saying I, i come from a scientific background i believe in observation and scientific methodology and the next minute you're saying i believe in a god who can decapitate another god no no i'm sense, not saying that. you no, no, you I'm want to have it cake and eat it as well yeah so uh it was it would have been a contradic- contradictory statement if i would have said that i uh, you know i come from a scientific background and i know for a fact that this thing like no it's not because so, when you say i believe yeah. what does it mean it has no believe value that believe, when you say believe. you believe but you don't know it has no value no no no, no. this is believe just faith and faith no. you, you think like that maybe you think like that believe and okay. faith has a lot of power let me give power. an example of a real world okay yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you done a DNA test on your parents? I know. And your and yourself? Nope. Okay, do you know they are your parents or do you believe they are your parents? They I know they uh, they're my parents. You said you I, know I or you believe. Which one is it? I know, I know. Okay, so where is the how, evidence there? How parents? do you know? Yeah, how do you so, know? So so yeah, okay. If if you if you look uh, at my father and if you look uh, uh you know at your uncle, at your me, uncle might look like you. So no 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 listen listen uh, if you it's look possible, at possible isn't it your uncle could look like you yeah but he does not look right so no, wait, we don't uh, know that you, i'm just you, telling you real life scenario can, can you, your uncle you could look me, like you. can you let oh. me finish with the uh, yeah. answer yeah, please yeah go ahead yeah so yeah if you look at my father and you look at me you will say exactly the same word your prophet said uh, like he resembles uh, he resembles his father like the way a crow resembles a crow there is a hadith something like that so yeah but but yeah. what you're talking about hold on what you're talking about you see you went straight to hadith when i asked you for scientific evidence huh. have, you, have you realized that you you have done so, exactly so, so i can what i suspected I can. you would do which is you wouldn't in this case you wouldn't use science as your, as evidence you would I, go based I mean, on something else when did i say when did i say i always use science when did i say please give me a uh, give because me because you kept stand? saying you you kept emphasizing on the no and the belief yeah So when you yeah, know so something that, it is based on scientific evidence but yeah. when it's believed then it can be just believed like the way you believe your parents are your parents but in reality they could not be because you haven't got any evidence for it yeah exactly so, so uh, you could if, end up you if, could end so, up rejecting so you are saying so you are saying based on your so you so, so you are saying i cannot believe and i cannot be from a science background and i cannot believe no something. he's not saying that. Saying, no, no, Nikhil, I said no, you need no. to stick to one you can't just no, switch no. when you feel like it no 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 it does not have to it does it not has have to, to because if that Can is your ideology no, the human 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 mind is not all about science and logic right if if there were if it was Actually, all about science the, and logic listen, listen 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 if it was about if god no. remember at the beginning i asked you do you know if god exists you said i believe but i don't know so you are the one who made this as a principle no for for god you against your own principle now for god i didn't say that please go back for go and, god go i and rewind the video and yeah, please see. please you yes. should go and okay so uh, let me ask you once again do you no, know let god me exists or do you believe let, god exists watch this i don't now. know nikhil watch this i don't know do you know god exists or do you believe he exists i don't know exactly don't my know point you did say it why are you denying it yeah i did i did say that i did say yeah. the exact same thing please go back and and watch it but that's exactly what exact i'm saying you thing. said it you made a big emphasis on the term no and on the term belief for you no means from a scientific evidence point of view for you mm. belief is could be just belief you know like based on emotions maybe am i right so so is so how so your, is that your belief in your own parents is based on emotions not scientific evidence so you you fail in that okay, you would okay, reject okay, the, no, 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 the, the, the okay, question okay, let's, let's, let's hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on Hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me finish this for yeah, this period. Yeah, let him, let him have his day. That's fine. No yeah. yeah, let me finish with it. Let's say, let's say, uh, uh, I get a DNA test uh, with my f- uh, dad and my mom, and mm-hmm. let's say the DNA test fails with both of them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's say the DNA test fails with both of them. So you think I'll stop, uh, you know, respecting respecting them as no, my no, mother? No, no, no. Still, no, still, still there will be my mom. That's not. That's not the point. That is not the point. Yeah. Exactly. That is so not the point. What I'm, yeah, the point. What I'm saying is everything does not depends on scientific relation. I love my mom and dad. Does I do that's love not my the mom point from the example. Because, that is not, not the point from yeah. the example. That is what the point I'm trying to make. I no, no it's not. It's not. Nickel, Nickel, hold on, hold on. You've gone, you've gone off topic completely. And believe things can be different. Nickel. And, yeah. 
Nicola, please, you've gone off topic. So the question is, is, is what, what constitutes evidence? See, science is one. What else constitutes evidence for you? See, uh, there's the there's the one thing I'm saying. Uh, if if uh, I I didn't believe uh, sort of if I didn't took science as you know I didn't kept science on the at priority, I would have said that I know for sure that Ganesha exists. But I didn't say that. Even I'm a Hindu. No, but that's, not what, Nicole. Nicole. No, no, that's not what I'm asking, Nikhil. No, that's not what I'm asking. Let's go. Let's go. Let's take a deep breath. Let's, go, let's sort of calm down. Sure, sure, sure. So, mm, yeah. so, you see, when when as human beings we acquire knowledge, there's different ways to acquire knowledge. So let me give you an example. Um, one of the ways is we can do scientific experiments to establish okay. whether something meets certain criteria. So what mm. I'm asking is, is that the only way for us to collect evidence about things? Or, or, or do we have other ways of, of, of collecting what, what I would knowledge? No, it's, what, what are it's different ways that we can it's, know something? It's not just scientific evidence. It's uh, what else? like not ob observations, archaeological evidences, many things. Okay, but those, those, are, those are still scientific. Let, let me give you another example. So, have you ever been to Uganda in Africa? No. Have you heard of Uganda in Africa? Yeah. Okay. Do you think it exists as a country? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is your evidence that it exists as a country? Yeah, I can I can search it on YouTube. I can show pictures of Uganda, people Good. going right, right, in exactly. Uganda. And right. Perfect. So when so you that do is a, that, that is an observation, right? No, no, it's not an observation. No, no. So it's, it's what a, it is. That's called that's called testimonial evidence, because what you're doing is you're relying on somebody else's reputational credibility to say that what they are telling you is true. So okay. if you watch, for example, like you said, YouTube, you you believe that whoever took that film or that video is truthfully relaying to you that this is Uganda. Yeah. That is testimonial evidence. Do okay, you understand yeah. that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, if you if you if you read say um, you pick up an atlas, you know, with maps, you assume when you lift that book up that whoever with the cartographer, whoever made mm -hmm. those maps is being honest in what they are what they're showing you in that book. You don't disbelieve yeah. them. That is testimonial evidence. Yeah. Right? Sure. Because you haven't been to Uganda, you haven't mm -hmm. flown there, you haven't walked there, you, you know, so you say, okay, somebody's telling me Uganda exists, okay, I'm going to believe them. Now, that is not scientific evidence, that's testimonial evidence. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, so that's another kind of evidence. So the do, other do way that we can know... testimony to be valid form of evidence, Nicholas? Yeah, I have to verify the testimony, right? I mean, okay. just, just, exactly. by, just by the... Uh, just by someone say, uh, give us, uh, you know, showing me Uganda, I won't exactly believe that it's Uganda until and unless he shows me some place that is famous and I know it's from Uganda. Or there are other ways as well. If I go to a uh, go to book a ticket, I, if I type yeah. Uganda, I will get Uganda. If I search for Uganda passport, I will get Uganda. I can see Uganda okay. passport. So in that I, have, case, I have met people from Uganda. Who yes. no, 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 I, I agree. Passport. I agree. Once I agree. Have, there are a lot of certain... us. Once so you uh, Uganda, that Uganda exists. Would you yeah, then so say Uganda, because this is all testimonial still, isn't it? Yeah. No, I, is it still all wait. testimonial? Uganda passport is how come Uganda if someone yeah, so, so, Nikhil, we agree. So, so, so Nikhil, hold on, hold on. So, so let's go step by step. So I agree with you. You know, so once we have validated the mm -hmm. source of that testimonial evidence. So for example, you know, when you're at university, we we read textbooks, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We believe the textbooks because the authors are usually reputable scientists or reputable, you know, experts in their topics. And who, how do we know they're reputable? Because other scientists or other people in that field hold them up as experts and authorities, and therefore reading their book is a good thing to do. For example, I wouldn't go, you know, to my corner store here down the street and have the shopkeeper give me a book and say, hey, I wrote this book for you, go read it. I'll say, yeah, who are you to give me this book? You see, we don't do that. So I agree with you 100% there. The question now is, is 
can we apply this model to religious texts and religious knowledge? Yeah, I mean, I have to verify the things, right? Yeah, we can. Good. Sure. Exactly. So the question we ask from our, our worldview is how do you verify that your texts and your books that you have meet this criteria? That they're from people who are reputable, we know them, therefore we can trust them, and because it's therefore a trustworthy I, source, I it is therefore worth following. I cannot give you one criteria. It depends on the situation. It depends on the book which you are showing it to me. It depends on the claim which you are making. It depends on a lot of situations. It's random. I cannot tell you. Okay, like, so let's take okay. your core text then. If we take your Vedas, sorry. So if we take, no, no, we take no, your Vedas, if we take your Vedic text, Muhammad, don't go all the way to sorry. Vedas even. Okay. Okay, Nikhil, if I were to ask you, um, mm -hmm. did Ram or Krishna exist in history? <laughs> I said I don't know. I I mean I believe because I like. But to you believe. you said you were going to verify. I'm I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. How will you verify? Yeah. How See, would you verify? Uh, belief does not doesn't need verification. That's the difference. But I I don't understand. Like you don't understand the difference between knowing and believing. So hold on, hold on. You're going to base What's your the entire, difference between believing hold, and hold on. Believing. You're going to right? celebrate an entire festival, mm -hmm. even though you cannot. Even though there is a possibility this person didn't exist in reality. Yeah. Do you see any if, logic in that? No. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Do you see any logic in celebrating something? A festival yeah, I see a very or... good logic. I see a okay, very good so logic. If Ram didn't exist, mm -hmm. yes, or Krishna didn't yeah. exist, for mm -hmm. you to celebrate Ram Janmi or celebrate Diwali, mm -hmm. what is the point of that? Yes. Uh, it makes what is the benefit? benefit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Uh, like, uh, like I'm telling from my pers uh, personal point of view, uh, on Ram in Ram Navmi, uh, like when we have this puja and all, uh, like lots of sweets are made in our home. We family get together for uh, like for the worship and for the, those rituals. It's a good, uh, you know. We spend a lot of good time. It it is it is something which cannot be defined in you know. Like in materialistic term, yeah, we feel happy while doing okay. that. You know, some people are drinking alcohol and feel happy. I think, happy. I think, yes. I think it's yeah, a very exactly. good reason. But, do you need, okay. but the question is if you want to feel happy, do you need the framework of Sanatani religion. to do that? Do you need the framework of religion? Because human beings all over the world are, yeah. can be happy anytime they some, want. Some are happy with yeah, drugs, exactly. some are happy with uh, dancing, some are happy drinking alcohol, yes. some are yeah, happy so, womanizing, you know? Uh, no, 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 no. Of, uh, no, no. When, some are when happy you, gambling. When, listen, listen. It <laughs> doesn't listen. make it right, does yeah. it? So if, if a person is womanizing, it's not good because he's harming some other person, right? If I'm doing a puja, How do you know? How do you know he's harming somebody else? Okay. Look, we'll, 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 so, we'll so you're saying he's not harming. 16,108 so, 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 copies. So, so okay, you are saying Krishna, if someone... So he, unless you say Krishna did. made everybody's life a hell, you know, like you you would be against Krishna then. No, 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 no. Uh, Krishna didn't make their life hell. Actually, they uh, actually he saved that six those 16,000 women. No, but you're from, the one who said uh, somebody who's womanizing, they will so, make somebody's life so, hell. So where did Krishna womanize? Though? He saved those 16,000 women from an uh, demon. From and a demon. you actually know that? So, so you were quoting you, you the. Couldn't, minute ago, you you couldn't even prove the existence of Krishna. No, now no, you all of a not, sudden want to say that it does not sixteen thousand women. Is, it does not meet them. because you are misrepresenting. Because you're I'm not misrepresenting. I'm talking about no, no, your yes, illogical you no, no, no. stance here. No, it's not illogical. You don't even know if this person existed yet. You want what to believe you that he married sixteen thousand women. What you are doing, what what you are doing is you are misquoting a book, a source from where you are telling this. He the source, there's no, wait, wait, there's no authenticity for this source. It's okay, a made okay, up story. So, yeah, so whatever it is, you, you are misrepresenting, you are misquoting. Bro, it. if I'm misrepresenting it, it, Aladdin's story, okay, uh, does it mean anything? Does it matter? Well, why does it, it matter? Doesn't matter. It's, yeah, it's, if, a, it's if, a fairy tale if, at the end if, of the day. No, no, no. If, yeah, if we are sitting in a group of people and you are saying uh, something uh, about Aladdin, which 
is not in the story yeah i will go on and tell you no, 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 no hashim it, it no it does matter you are telling so a wrong story so if i say something about a fiction then it'll hurt somebody yeah no it's not about hurting when someone is ah. correcting you it's not you, you see, it's not you see the difference here is that for you it is not just a fairy tale or fiction for you it's a religious book am i right no i'm no then you're no. not a hindu then <laughs> so you are not it's not a religious book you're not a hindu you just proved it the, 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 the reason anything, we say anything, this nikhil you think you and you, you became an agnostic you, all of a sudden you 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 keep on claiming something i am a hindu or not your your saying will not matter anything and plus you can go and show me any textbook that says that you have to follow this textbook to be okay, a hindu okay i'll show you to right now yeah. do you believe yeah. in the bhagavad gita Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. and please, it should be written there. Like you yeah, have yeah, yeah. to no believe problem. it to be I'll, a Hindu. I'll use, I'll Hindu. use exactly that what he said. Mm-hmm. Show me yeah, in sure. any book where he says you have to follow the scripture. Am I right? No. Yeah, follow the scripture to be a Hindu. Yeah. No, it no problem. No. By the way, what's the uh, what's the uh, main objective of a Hindu? What is your main purpose? Uh, like lead a good life, help people. Well, okay. Anyone can claim. Anything else? What, what, I mean, what is the it's, ultimate it's, aim of of following your faith? Isn't isn't it to achieve moksha? I don't know. Yeah, people say that. Yeah, sure. No, but ho- no, honestly, no, are you a Hindu? But, but, because if you don't believe no, your object, your objective is to attain yeah. moksha, then you cannot be a Hindu. Yeah. So how because can you even, not know what is your purpose? even the Jains? You know, even the Buddhists, they believe in mm-hmm. nirvana or some other form of uh, freedom from life and death uh, cycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm surprised you're saying that is not your. So, what exactly is your objective? My objective is to live a good life, be successful, uh, take care of my well, mom and dad, be good to people. You don't need to be that, that, that secular liberalism. Yeah, that, that's, that's actually right. secular liberalism again. That, that's not sure. Hinduism. That's what I kept telling so, him. He's, so, not, so, he's not speaking like a Hindu. S- He's speaking like a secular no, liberal. No, uh, yeah. yeah, you are saying because I'm I'm not speaking like the way you want me to. Right? No, no, but no, no, no. I don't think yeah, you. Exactly. I don't think you have read any of his scriptures. Have you read any in the scriptures? I don't uh, understand. You were going to show me something. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Nikhil, you got, you got to understand. We're looking at this from a theological perspective. There's this discussion on on this channel. We we look at yeah. the theological texts of mm-hmm. professed followers, and we okay. say, what does your tradition tell you to do? What what is the purpose in your tradition? You see. Yeah. we know look there are people who do lots of different things and then there's the actual text and the tradition itself that tells them to do something else or or sometimes they're the same and sometimes they're different what we do on this channel is we say look if you claim to be something you know christian a hindu a muslim you know a jain whatever we say okay well what does that entail and usually what it entails is you look at your traditional books and texts and scriptures and you read what it says there and what we find is exactly what we find what you're saying we're saying look um i don't study my texts i don't really study my religion but what i do know is just be a good guy but you see yeah. that philosophy has nothing to do with your religion that philosophy is a secular liberal philosophy that was imposed on you by the colonialists this is not hinduism this was this is an imposed philosophy that you have imbibed and you don't realize that you've imbibed it and what we're saying is is okay if 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 you know that that's what it is that's fine but if you don't know and then claim it's hinduism because we've been running these streams for almost over almost 3 years now and we we believe me we've had every spectrum of hindu on this program you know every spectrum from all of the and the ones who truly follow hinduism do not say what you say because almost all of them all hindus will say our ultimate goal is to achieve moksha now how they do it differs because some are you know depending on which tradition they're in which spectrum of hinduism they're in, that differs but they all believe that that's the that's the end goal so what we're saying is let's go back to the core text let's yeah, see what yeah. it says or, or core tradition and if if you don't follow that then how can you claim to be of that tradition that's all we're, so, that's all we're asking so you can you, so, you do respect the bhagavad gita am i right yeah because it teaches good and, things right and you will take, and I, you will take its teaching to be true uh yeah sure okay here you go so this is bhagavad gita chapter 16 verse number 23 mm mm-hmm. 
Do you read uh, Sanskrit? Who discards the no? You read Sanskrit or you don't? No, no, no. You don't. Hindi okay. or English? English would be good. Yes, English. Read it aloud. He who discards the injection of the scriptures and acts upon the impulse of desire attains neither perfection nor happiness nor the supreme goal. Yeah. So where does it say you have to uh, believe in Bhagavad Gita to be a Hindu? He you who said, discards. You said, so, you said that you will show me the exact. Okay, hold, words. hold on, hold on. What do you understand by the injunction of the scriptures? The first sentence. What do you understand? Yeah, what does it mean? Who, what does this mean? The, the instructions of the scriptures. Yes. Okay. And if you re, if you discard that, then what happens? Yeah. So so. But, but, you know what but, happens? Answer the question. If so you, you discard will, the if you discard you the neither, injunctions of the scriptures, you will what neither, happens? Uh, you will not attain perfection and happiness. But by, by that definition, you will do you also believe not that? Attain hold on, hold on. Do you actually believe that, that you will not attain perfection, nor happiness, nor moksha? No, yeah. Do you, no, do you, do you believe in that? Are you going to reject it because you're following what impulse of your desires? Right. Have you seen it comes full circle? Have you noticed that? Yeah, sure. There you go. Now so, tell me, so, do you follow the scriptures or you don't? Yeah, so Which by one is that, it? by that definition, you will also not. You know, bro, I don't believe in the Bhagavad Gita. You do. Yes, yeah, so we don't so believe in the Bhagavad Gita. Beginning, will you respect the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita? And you said in the affirmative, you will. Yeah. Now all of a sudden, because it goes against your desire, you're going to mm. reject the scriptures and in, uh, injunctions. Mm. Okay, so anyway, Nikhil, like, look, I think, yeah. I think, look, we have uh, spent a lot of time with you, and I really appreciate yeah. you know, I enjoy mm -hmm. talking to you actually. Yeah, actually, but I, you are I, not I, very different from many of the Hindus who come on, on our streams no, uh, because yeah. what, what you are is uh, you, 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 you have been indoctrinated by secularism, and this has no, resulted in the skepticism in the which you have portrayed during think, this stream. Uh, I think, uh, we, we have got a rational mind, one more. so we can, we can, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, verify between good or bad, and then we can take the decisions, right? But, but, but this, this but, is so but, we but, encourage. Look, by the way, but by the way, uh, by the way, how how do you prove that from that verse that I'm you know not a Hindu? Because it says who does it's not. It's up believe, to you right? to say you're a Hindu or not. But no, no, it yes. seems like you, 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 you said, are the kind of said, person who will reject the scriptures that, based on your desires. Exactly, exactly so, as the Bhagavad Gita says. Yeah, exactly. So. So, so when you asked me, I I answered in the affirmative. So how I am not a Hindu then? No, 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 like no, no, no. no. Not, what we're saying is, look, according to that verse, right. I, according I to that, look, according to that verse, look, look, I'm not a Hindu, but what I'm saying is, you are, you profess to be. So what, what we're saying, we encourage, look, we we encourage all faiths to be true to your scriptures because. If you are, I think we'd be in a much better, happier world. It's because we're not true to our scriptures. And Muslim, many Muslims included. I, you know, I'm not discounting them. Yeah, there are many true. bad Muslims who don't follow the who don't follow the Quran and Sunnah, and they end up causing a lot of trouble for people. What I'm saying is, yeah. if you claim to be something, then you should actually follow it. You know, do it. Be be honest to yourself. That that verse. I mean, there's many, but that one verse. What it says is, look, if you are if you live by the edicts and the and the injunctions of, of the scripture, then you will have a happy life. You will achieve what you want to achieve, and you will achieve the ultimate goal, which actually is the purpose of Hinduism. Now, what we're yeah. saying is, how can you claim to be doing this when, in fact, you're not? You see, okay, and uh, it's that cognitive dissonance that, that we dislike. We say, look, if you say, look, if you, you know, if if, if if a horse says it's a horse, then I, I agree. But if a cow says it's a horse, mm. I'm never going to believe it. Okay, right? so, so what we say is be honest with what you are. Mm. And if you're a secular liberalist, admit you're a secular liberalist. And if you believe you want to be a Hindu, then go study your scriptures. Because I yeah, think it would actually it, make you a better so, person. So I think I think you would agree that there might be a possibility, like whatever instructions that, that the Bhagavad Gita has, Maybe I'm following the most of it. It might be possible, right? I don't know, but I may be following. But you challenged right? that earlier. You said, where does the what? scripture yeah. say this? That was your challenge. No, your challenge was to be a Hindu. You have to follow certain scriptures. That okay. was your challenge. What is your definition of a Hindu? Let's start with that, Nikhil. What's your definition of a Hindu? Like, actual definition is someone who lives by... No, no, what's your definition? Word? Forget about others. What, whom would you consider as a Hindu? 
Uh, if somebody says really, if somebody says I'm a Hindu, do you believe them? Yeah, I don't go very deep into it. Like if someone's born uh, in a Hindu family, he's so a what, Hindu. What would take somebody Hindu, out of Hinduism, according to you? Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What would disqualify someone as a Hindu? I think, I think it uh, nothing nothing disqualifies because Hinduism is kind of a universal religion, right? Okay, so you would consider a cannibal to be a Hindu, yeah? Okay, yeah. Or, okay. or someone who does who commits uh, necrophilia, you consider them to be Hindu, right? Where's yeah, the shape? I mean, His favorite topic is here. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, he's. I'm a asking you: yeah. Would you consider someone? Yeah, who, I mean, who, uh, who, who takes part in immorality according to your worldview as a secular uh whatever it is would you consider someone who is committing necrophilia and indulging in cannibalism to be a hindu he is a bad human but yeah obviously if he's a hindu he's a, like like some like bad osama bin laden was a muslim no no hold he, on, he was hold a bad he was hold a bad on. human but he hold was a muslim on. you see we we follow the injunctions of the quran and sunnah in the Quran, yeah. Allah clearly says, do not kill innocent people. Okay? So for you to uh, come and tell us about Islam when you don't know about your own religion, I bet you haven't read the Bhagavad Gita or any major Hindu scriptures. Have you read any one of them? No. So don't lecture us about Islam, bro. Stick to your land. No, okay? no, no. no. Uh, you wait, come, look, way, all you have studied no, is maybe science. No. You went to school, studied science. You, you probably watch movies, become secular based on the indoctrination in your society, and you still call yourself a Hindu when you have no idea. You're clueless about the teachings of Hinduism. You didn't even know your purpose in life. You said just to be happy. No. I know, you don't I have know to be a Hindu to be happy. You know that. You could be an atheist. You could be a drug dealer. You could be many, many people out there are actually happy without following. No, so, 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 so you, you just listen one, one selfish motive, have being happy. I, I, I also said being good to the mankind, being good to the society. Being good we to understand. Parents, how, we that, right? how is, how is doing, how is indulging in cannibalism a good thing? I, I, did I say I indulge in cannibalism? Did I, did I? According to you, I according to your that? definition, wait, wait. According to your definition, a good Hindu and a bad Hindu, no. there is such a thing? Yeah, in okay. every religion. So, like who, who defines a bad Hindu? Who defines? Oh, How do you like, define a bad Hindu based on what criteria? A bad Hindu, someone who does not follow the scriptures. Ah, very good. Do you follow the scriptures? I have not read it yet. No, no, that's not the question. Do you follow the scriptures? I have not read it yet. So how Listen would I follow? The question follow? Okay. Do you follow the look, scriptures? Look, Mikhail. Look, okay, okay. By your own definition, look, you're a bad Hindu. Have you not realized yeah, we, that? We, we, we encourage look my friend we encourage you look 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 we're not here to convert anybody but what we want to tell you is look if you believe something we believe you should study it you should you should be serious that if this truly is the purpose of my life you know it's funny you know just as an aside you know it's funny you know i speak to many people they they have read harry potter series end to end but they haven't read their own religious texts you know, and I think, okay, you know, if this is truly my sort of, you know, eternal salvation, my sort of achievement of everything, maybe I should read that first before I go read Harry Potter and all this other stuff. You know, right? I'm surprised yet, he brought in, Muhammad, he brought in Osama bin Laden. Let me ask you, by his own definition, Krishna, sorry, Shiva would be a bad Hindu because right? he, he chopped right. off his son's head. A yeah. child, by no. the way, he was a child. With the and the and the, and, and, the, and the elephant and the elephant. Yes, exactly. Actually, yeah. actually, the worst one. It's not just the elephant. A demon elephant. Yeah. So he yeah. got he put a demon's head on his child's uh, yeah. head. Poor elephant. What has the elephant done? Nikhil? No, so Nikhil, demon, what we say is look. look if you play, all so we say is if you sure, claim to be right. the initial thing was not that simple like that, right? He if he chopped the head when he realized his mistake, he gave him life again. Gods make mistakes, so go. really? Yeah, are you, are you but, but the thing is, thing is, he killed an innocent child at the beginning. I mean, but look, you know, you know what we say yeah, is, is if, so if he, he he proved his godlessness, like he even after someone died, he brought him back to life. That's well, we don't know that. Why did, he, know why, did he, why did he have to kill the elephant? I mean, couldn't yeah. he just brought him back to life without killing another being? Yeah, yeah, he but, didn't even but know it was his you, time anyway, in the first place. Yeah. 
Anyway, but anyway, haven't, haven't anyway, you, haven't that's, you? That's enough. That's, that's enough for this. So, Nikhil, we, we have Q and A every Thursday. It's been wonderful talking to you, Nikhil. Look, we we didn't we don't mean to upset you. So, if if we have, well, no, I I'm apologize. Not upset. You know, but we like and to I have healthy discussion. Yeah, we, we, we do like to have animated discussion. We get emotional because you know these are big topics, but we yeah, don't mean to upset anyone or insult anyone. Uh, but what we do recommend is if you come here claiming to be something, you should actually mm -hmm. study your tradition. Because I think then we can both have healthy discussions based on sources and references. We can actually compare and contrast. Because otherwise, we talk from hearsay and guesswork. And, and no, that, that doesn't result in a in fruitful conversation. Brother Muhammad, even the scriptures, because what he does is he follows his whims and desires, exactly as that Bhagavad Gita chapter uh, and mm -hmm. verse, which I quoted, said. Because if he goes through the scriptures and he sees somebody doing something that goes against his secular worldview, for example, uh, take Shiva, you know, committing rape with Mohini, who is a... No, he didn't rape him. He didn't, he didn't Shall I show you the scripture okay. once again? You yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, go on, go on, okay. go on. Okay, what is rape according to you? Yeah, when someone, you know, penetrates a women's vagina, like forcefully. Yes, without the will. Against the yeah. will. Yes? Yeah, Against penetrates. Will. Yeah, sure. Let's give you another mm -hmm. lesson, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. Because the thing is, you guys, uh, I don't know if you, what is your view about uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam? Uh, I not really know about that. Have you ever read any book at all about Hinduism? You haven't. And that's a problem with most Hindus. They get caught out very easily because it's, they don't read. It's not, it's, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. Actually, it is a no, problem. It's not that it's not a problem. But it, you see, a lot of your beliefs are underpinned by these. You can be a good contribution to the society, to this mankind. Of course. Even Look, we don't that. disagree. Brother Muhammad, no, actually, because because where do you take your um, uh, your morality, morality from? from? I agree yes. exactly. How do you know what is good, what yeah. is bad? I agree. Okay, yeah. read, yeah. read yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Say, you yeah. cannot okay. say it's society. You cannot say it's society because what is good for one society is bad for another. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Can you see my okay. screen? Yeah, yeah, so what are we looking at here, Hashim? What is this? Yeah, it's the highlighted bit. Yeah, no, but what's the text? Which book? Oh, he's, he's saying that uh, Shiva did not rape uh, Mohini. Okay, mm -hmm. but which book is this? Which Veda, Purana, Srimad, which is it? So this is Srimad Bhagavatam. Okay. Book number, uh, sorry, here it is. Chapter, uh, uh, book number eight, chapter number 12, verse number 28 onwards. Okay. It says here... Um, Okay, let's read from. Well, uh, sorry, what's what's the chapter and text? Uh, so, Srimad Bhagavatam, book number eight, mm -hmm. chapter number twelve, verse twenty-eight oh. onwards. Mm -hmm. It says here, his senses being agitated, Lord Shiva, victimized by lusty desires, began to follow her, that is Mohini, mm -hmm. just as a lusty elephant follows a she elephant. Okay, and here's the key mm -hmm. bit. After following her with great speed, Lord Shiva caught her by the braid of her hair and dragged her near him, although she was unwilling. He embraced her with his arms. Is that forceful okay. enough for you? No, so it's not a rape, one, first of all. Hold on, hold and, on. Yeah. Is it, was it willing <laughs> okay, or unwilling? By the way, Hashim, uh, do you uh, just... Nikhil, I haven't finished text. yet. Just answer the question. Was yeah. it willing or unwilling? Yeah, she, it was unwilling. So when you but, when you when you hold a woman by a hair, and mm -hmm. she's unwilling to come to you, what do you call? By the way, Hashim, let me just uh, ask Can you, you who was Mohini? Who was, what do you who call, was Mohini? What do you call the action of Mohini? a person? Who was who, Mohini? Who Tell me, Hashim. A woman I, by a I, hair. I, we'll, we'll get there now. We'll, we'll, we'll get to who was Mohini. Hold on. We'll I, I bet you Mohini. don't know who was Mohini. No, we do know. We do know. We actually. do know who's Mohini. Because we've actually read this stuff. Unlike you, we have read your scriptures. But we've actually we've yeah, actually read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, we've Let actually me, read it. Here's the, here's the main a simple bit. question. Who was Molly? Wait, wait. Here's the main oh, bit, oh, which, oh. You, which you're not going to deny. Being embraced by Lord Shiva, like a female elephant embraced by a male, the woman whose hair was scattered swirled like a snake. Okay? What do you understand from that? When you embrace a woman, like a male elephant, mm. who is unwilling to come to you, what do you call that? Yeah. Okay. You come. You know this. I'll, I'll you know the reason they use this flowery language, and not the straightforward language like the one you used a few minutes ago. Shows you that these scriptures, which you haven't read at all, 
contains a lot more than what you what your secular mind no imagine you, about you are culture. you are absolutely quoting it out of context that's why i'm asking okay. who, who do you know was an moaning? unwilling woman being chased like a male moaning? elephant i'm just asking a simple question you cannot answer just one word answer who was moaning let me let me see moaning yeah. was the avatar of vishnu yeah Does that and why your... and why and why, okay, and why you said we didn't know did... hold on hold on hold on why did you this said we happen no nikhil wait a minute you said earlier we didn't know who was moini am i right yeah so we know did yeah. i answer correctly now yeah you answered correctly okay are you going to take back your accusation yeah sure this what are you going to say but... are you going to apologize okay sure i don't uh, you know i didn't hear an apology, apology yet yeah sorry uh, okay, okay don't on. accuse next time if you don't yeah. know okay what is the next question so my question is do you know the whole context of this yes how did it started like like why why like uh, uh why did uh, like lord shiva ran after you know and why you did know why, why, why did vishnu to vishnu divert, took mohini you know, okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. why you want ask him ask him ask him ask him ask him regardless please. regardless of what was or the context yes, or right, whatever right. no listen when someone says that he forced himself on someone else like a lusty elephant yeah. and not only that that lusty she was male unwilling elephant. male lusty elephant male lusty male elephant and she was unwilling that she has to swirl herself like a snake it is a lot of uh, a lot to desire not, not only why don't you in any in any conscious so whatever the reason the whatever the reason he chased her like a lusty elephant the question is this would you consider okay by the way uh, you you wait, wait, owe me would an you apology consider as a good well. hindu would you consider a good hindu to chase after a woman who is unwilling no uh, you are taking you it out, absolutely that, out of context no, no, no and actually, you, you owe me an apology actually, 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 actually you said you said you said actually hashim hashim actually they are child afterwards didn't they hashim you know do you know they are hashim So yeah, I, was child, watching, I was watching. I was watching the was, documentary. No, Nick, 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 listen to this. Listen to this. Right. Actually, it has. It, you, it you has. You owe me got... an apology as well, Hashim. What for? Me an apology. Okay. Why would? Hold on, hold on. You said Nick, you, you okay. should. Okay. Can you let the chef speak, please? So, Nick, so Nick, please, please allow the chef to speak. Please, go ahead. You know, you know, I was watching a documentary not long ago, about like two weeks ago, about the amount of rape in the Hindu society, especially from the Dalit class. the uh, the not the, from, the you, not from of the of of them yes. of them so i'm never yes. so yes. so, so, so the amount of rapes in the mentality and then and then when you read in in the scripture such a thing you will understand why right from them gang rape yeah, so is allowed it's not a problem there, there was so we we and hashim had a deal that it was it has to be a penetration of a no, 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 no 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 rape, no no rape, 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 rape it hasn't got go back go back go back you can see that go i never used the term penetration nickel nickel yeah, nickel look 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 nickel Go Nickel, back and according to the story Nickel, from the beginning. You go home and go back and Nickel. Yeah, you see you according the story from the beginning. You right? see Nickel, you, have, you see according you have quoted the story according to your own way. You have no, have you have so Nick Nick yeah. Google look. Let's stop here. Let's stop here. Show the story. Guys, or, or would you let guys, me would you, on, let, oh, me oh, you would let me show it? We've gone off topic here. So let's stop. I'll share my screen and show it. Same story. Okay, fine. So Nickel, let's stop here because No, no, it's not fine. What 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 are we just talking here? No, no, no. First, of all, first of all uh, first of all first of all uh, hashim goes me and he 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 had a deal with me that he has to show no, uh, show, no, show, no, show, the, show the evidence you, of penetration your and definition he didn't show that no no yes. we didn't agree and to he your is definition. then quoting quoting the story from the uh, from in some no, but we didn't we didn't agree to your you definition are, you are not, i gave you the you, reference the chapter you, and the verse you, what you, you want you you yeah so so would you would you allow me time to uh, explain it explain what Yeah, the story. Why? Why did this actually happen, bro? We know the It's, story. We we have actually no. discussed. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so can let, I finish that statement without yeah. interjecting? So, what the point I was trying to make here is that, regardless of the context, regardless of the reason, you you have already agreed that a bad Hindu, sorry, a good Hindu would not would not hold a woman's hair. force her without her willing action without a willing without a volition 
and it was not her, first of all first of all it was it was not it was not just a random woman no, 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 no. it was it was number one thing it was just not some some random woman it was lord vishnu uh, had taken the that uh, you know roop of a female which, which and before and wait, 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 wait. before that she lord shiva and vishnu had a conversation about this and lord vishnu told him that please do not do it because you will be uh, you will be uh, if because that uh, lord vishnu's mohini avatar was so you know what i would say convincing or hypnotize hypnotize you know strong in hypnotizing that no one can escape that so yeah that's the thing you are uh, absolutely you agree, out Shiva, of course yeah, yeah one more, one more thing one more thing Nikhil, Nikhil, let, Nikhil, me let, let me complete let me complete you agree with us complete. man i don't understand let what the me, problem is let me complete <clears throat> so number one thing we, they had a conversation before that they had a mutual consent before that please read the please. i think you should uh, read the uh, scriptures can you, quote, wait, wait. can you quote a reference for whatever you're saying i did yeah, where yeah. is can the mutual consent? Consent? Sure, 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 sure. one second Listen, let me just find it let me just find yeah, it yeah go on while you're okay, finding it the, i'll bring another you see, you see uh, if there's you mutual consent the then you don't you don't list forcefully it, and unwilling it was mutual consent it was unwilling mohini yes. was unwilling to come to him no she he had to literally pull up her hair by a braid what more you want it's in wait, black wait, and white it's so why is she so impatient let me show you show me what show me you're the uh, show me the wait wait you're going to justify this attempted rape no it was not attempted rape they if someone had a conversation in between before that and it was not just a random one no you have to number one thing conversation that, that yeah so to, you are not letting me you're not letting you are not letting, letting me show it you are no, not letting no. me show it It's show it, show it. I'm waiting thing. for you. Yeah, let, just, just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah, no problem. In just the meantime, I'm going to bring another because you're going to take a while. I know because you haven't read the yeah. script. But by the way, uh, thank you, Nikhil. By the way, great conversation. This is good. It's hard conversation, but I, I like the two and fro. Thank you. The thing is, uh, it's the same thing in any religion. You know, for example, if you go and read the Bible and something is against Jesus Christ, the Christians will try the level best. for the special pleading for their yeah. lord for the savior you know yeah. and i expect the same thing from the hindus but this guy yeah. nikhil he hasn't read any of the books of hindus yeah. he has read stories he have heard stories but hasn't actually verified anything in the books yeah. that's why he was shocked to see that maybe this such a incident did happen in in that no, i have not so I have, we don't I have mind typical discussions we, well. we do have heard that you i have you, seen you showing these things so i know also you have learned from me thank you Yeah, fantastic yeah. thank you nikhil yeah. we, we so, so, from, by the way you know. by the way so do you have the reference that you want to show us or do you want to come back sure, sure, sure. Yeah, because let, we have q and a every, every thursday yeah, yeah yeah you can mute me and i'll just find and let you know okay because okay. we need to close up soon soon actually because we need to go join sure, uh, something just, else just i want to go join minutes. another program you can give me five minutes right okay cool go so so we'll put you on mute so temporarily well, and we'll bring the next sure, guest sure. on that will good okay thank you just give me a shout in the back studio when you're fine yeah i will do yeah He's yeah i have i have the reference now you have the reference oh, yeah, yeah. you have yeah, the reference mm -hmm. yeah okay Let present me... present your yeah, reference I'm, then i'm presenting the screen huh i asked you for the reference you didn't give it to me in the back studio yeah oh sorry i missed it you missed it what so many times one second right what is your reference can you tell us what the reference is yeah i'm just showing it to you can you see my screen yeah yeah Okay so here's the What is the reference here? This is Shrimad Bhagavatam? Yeah, it's it's Shrimad Bhagavatam. Wait. Yeah, go on. Okay, chapter 12. Huh? Okay. So here uh Lord Shiva says, "My lord, I have seen all kind of incarnations you that means Vishnu have exhibited by a trans transcendental qualities and now that you have appeared as a beautiful young woman that means Mohini, I wish to see that form of your lordship." so uh, the thing is uh, he has vishnu has already uh, you know taken the form of mohini in that samudra manthan thing and now lord shiva wants to see it then he says my lord we have come here desiring to see that form of your lordship which you showed to the demons to captivate them completely he's talking about that event samudra manthan no. in this way enable the demigods no. to enter and something So, okay then sukhdeva goswami said when lord vishnu was thus requested please okay thus requested by lord shiva 
who carries a trident in his hand and he smiled with the gravity and replied to Lord Shiva has followed. Okay, so then he's telling him what he does and then that elephant things all come on, come up. And then now it's all over here. Yeah. What is the point yeah. you're trying to make by this? So, yeah, so he, so they- You wanted he, to say- he didn't rape her. That he did not rape her. That's what he no, wanted no. to say. So Nikhil, let me get this right. So- No, 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 wait, saying, let me finish. Let me finish first. Let me finish oh, you first. haven't finished yet? Okay. I thought you no. did. Yeah. Okay, go on. Yeah, then everything happens. Then Vishnu says, seeing Lord Shiva unagitated and ashamed, unashamed, Lord Vishnu was very pleased as he resumed his original form and spoke as follows. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, O best of the demigods, although you have been amply harassed because of my potency. See, amply harassed because of my potency. So it was, he was under control of hypnotism or something like in his, of his, uh, Nickel, Nickel, do you yeah. believe? Wait, wait, Nickel, in, Nickel, in, wait, in, wait, in wait, 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 just wait. Therefore. Nickel, do what? you believe that God, God can be hypnotized? Do you believe yeah, that? Yeah, really? yeah. So, so, so he God was can not, be hypnotized. He was. It was. He was not hypno, hypnotized by some random thing. He was hypnotized by Lord Vishnu himself. He was yeah, the so best of the hypnotized. One God is hypnotized by another God. Is yeah. that something? Is that is that something that is possible for a god to be hypnotized? Like, like the scriptures, so why, why it can be? Why it can be? If a deity can be, who is, who is all? all then he ceases, all, all, he, he ceases to be a deity. No, no, no. He can be a deity. He can be a deity because he has at least okay. more lot of more powerless. Let me, powerless let me ask you this. Powerless deity. No, he's not powerless. So he, he, he has some power. He's just been hypnotized. Listen, listen, no, no, this is, this is all Shiva a smoke has... screen. I, I still want to know what how did you resolve the problem of Krishna, sorry, uh, of Shiva mm -hmm. forcing Mohini, forcing himself on Mohini? So, how do you resolve that? So I was saying that he was, it's, it's written here, he was amply ha harassed because of his potency. So he was kind matter. of hypnotized. How do you, so let me ask you this. Would you, as a good Hindu, ever consider forcing yourself on any woman? Yeah, like pulling see, a hand? If, 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 if I'm hypnotized, I, it's not in my control, right? Oh, there you go. God, there you, you go. Your, law, your God wasn't in control of his own yeah, senses. Yeah, because, yeah, because he, if he was hypnotized okay. by his what is Lord the, Vishnu. How, how, if, if, listen, listen, listen. If he was hypnotized by some random human, then I could have said, oh, he has got not. I didn't no say God. random human. I'm saying yeah, that Krishna, he was hypnotized Shiva, by Lord Vishnu. Oh, not, so Lord Shiva, Vishnu has Shiva, this power. He's supposed to be an Adi Yogi. He's supposed to be the master of the yoga yogis. Hmm. If he himself can get duped and deceived, then what kind of a god is he? No, he is a god because he was. Because okay, if, if you want to if, believe if a god Lord, can get deceived, that's up to you. If if yeah, if if Lord Shiva is Adi Yogi, Lord Vishnu mm -hmm. is also master of hypnotism. Okay, let me ask yeah. you this: Is it? Is listen, it moral? listen, listen, hold listen, on, listen, listen. Hold on, no, hold no, on. Hold, on. hold on. Is it moral for a god to show to appear as a nude woman? He was not nude. He was. <laughs> Where does it say? Mohini so? was nude. Do you know that? Where, can you uh, show me the reference, please? Why do you think? Why do you think? Uh, uh, Shiva, her by the Shiva discharged his semen. Why do you think so it happened? What? Shiva so he discharged his semen on looking yeah, he, after he saw this beautiful woman. Yeah, and it was also Amaya. It was to be oh, done because Lord, Maya now. You're listen, listen, Maya. no, 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 no. Because Seriously. it was it was Maya of Lord Vishnu because Lord Ayappa no. was to be bro see he, a demon even was to be. Even if it was a Maya, uh, listen, 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 listen. Even you if don't, it was listen, a Maya, you, is it no, right listen. for a woman? Sorry, is it right for a god to appear as a naked woman? Listen to me, because uh, see, number one thing. This is called special he, pleading, you know. No, it's this not man special who pleading. Thought that he was you, a secular, you, secular. The thing is, secular thing is, liberal the thing Hindu. Is, who you, thought you everything think, a good Hindu should be doing good things? The point is, and is justifying nudity and is, attempted rape. Have you yeah, noticed if, that? If, 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 if it's it's not attempted rape, first of all, yeah, it you will an apology for that. It's, it's not attempted rape, it's, it's not against no, a will. It, okay, no, would you it's do not it? Against a will. Would you pull a woman against a will towards you, like a like a lustful elephant? He was hypnotized. Can, can you answer see? the question? Have, would can, you do that? Can you? No, would if you do I'm that hypnotized, yourself? I'm not in my country. If, let's say you were not hypnotized, would you do it? Why is he muted? I didn't mute him. 
Nikhil, can you answer the question? Did you mute yourself? Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So answer the question. Would you consider that to be moral or immoral? Because, you know, when you say hypnotize, that means one of the two was aware, right? Either Vishnu or Shiva. You're saying Shiva was the one hypnotized. But the mm. one who was nudity, who showed a nudity was Mohini. And according to you, Mohini was Vishnu. Yeah. So was Vishnu, when he came as Mohini, as this seductress who seduced Krishna, uh, Shiva, did she commit immorality by becoming naked? No, I because because something was done in order to save humankind, right? That's that why let me question. finish. Let, would let you me consider finish. would you consider nudity to be moral? If if it has to save humankind, then no. To save humankind? Yeah. So because you're saying a god has to become naked to save humankind in order no. to save humankind. By the way, by the way, show me the reference where it says nudity. No, but I'm I'm asking you. Okay, let's say, you know, I can show you the reference. Let's say if the reference was there, would you then? reject it and would you condemn Shiva, uh, Vishnu as being immoral by displaying himself without any clothes? If, if, if it has to save the humankind, then no. Can God save humankind be without becoming naked, a naked woman? Yeah, because... Can he, your he God to... save humankind without becoming a naked seductress? Okay, first, first, please, uh, if you are claiming something, give me the... No, uh, no, just answer you know. the question before I show you the reference. I want to know because the thing is, even if I show you the reference, you're going to reject it because you've already made up your mind to save Vishnu in any way, shape or form. So let me ask you this before I show you the reference. Would you consider, number one, would you consider nudity to be immoral? Number two, if you say yes to save mankind, does your God need to become a naked seductress in order to save mankind? Is, was there no other way? Maybe. Yeah, it was no other way. Okay, so what so, so answer the question. Is it immoral to be naked? It's if 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 Lord uh, Vishnu has to save humankind and for that he became okay. like maybe he became nude, then uh, I'm I not going to go similar. based on maybes because now we are dealing with with scripture here. So unless you can show me something from the scripture, mm -hmm. then you have a point. Right now you don't. You wanted to see the naked? I'll show you the naked, no problem. Hmm. Read this. So this is again Srimad Bhagavatam, chapter 8. Uh, sorry, book book number 8, chapter 12, verse number 26. What do you see here? Yeah, so I, I said if he has to say... Read it, read it. Why are you ashamed? Read it. The, be the beautiful woman was already naked, yeah. What happened to your audio all of a sudden? It went low. The beautiful you... woman was already yeah, naked, girl. yeah. Yeah. So who is this beautiful woman? Vishnu. Lord Vishnu, yeah. Right. Why is this Lord Vishnu naked as a seductress? And then she actually it, sees it, Shiva. It doesn't, if, it doesn't matter if you go to the... Matter. No, it I'm does asking, not matter. If, God, look, look, without the immorality, can your God not save the world? It's it's not immorality if you have, if you're going to save, your, if save the world. Okay. The other thing is, you, you're saying all of this was a Maya? Yeah, if it was done because, yeah, so he, okay. the, from that semen, uh, Lord Ayapur was born. Right, so let me ask kill. you this. Let me ask you this. If someone is forcing himself like a, like a lustful elephant and then he discharges... He was not forcing. Him. He was hypnotized. You can see in the end. You can keep on... Uh, yeah, yeah, look, he was, he, he was hypnotized in the sense that he thought that woman was real. Okay? That was a hypnotism. No, the, he was the, the morality. The question Lord of morality Vishnu still remains, because this man, by the way, Parvati was somewhere nearby. You know that. Yeah, I know what that, would you yeah. call? What would you call Shiva, who is actually running after a strange woman, and is lusting after her like a man? I think. I think elephant. you don't. And then I he discharges. His get it. What do you call that I man? Think, I immoral. Think you don't both if, Shiva if, and Vishnu have been proven you, to be immoral. If, if you are hypnotized, if you are hypnotized, there's nothing. That, no, no, no. You, By the way, he wasn't. Hip, he wasn't hypnotized. He was. He actually, I, I he, did show you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he okay. Wasn't hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Left him. Uh, Hashim, Hashim, there is a very important point in there. Actually, I have to go no, now. You know, sorry. you know, Hashim, Hashim. When you said in in the in the chapter where you have read in the verse where you have read where it's written naked woman. Yeah. You know the following one. 
it's saying that when she when uh, mohini noticed that lord shiva was coming towards her she became bashful and she hid herself amongst the trees mm -hmm. so she, so if she was she, smiling yeah and she was smiling so if she really seduced him she seduced him and he was hypnotized why she was why uh, mohini was uh, bashful then why she hid amongst the trees yeah it was like honestly, using, honestly. It was like, yeah it was like teasing yeah because if you go on so it's, I, it's, are, it's, are it's, you saying wait, wait, when you say when you say shiva was uh, hypnotized are you saying he lost his sense of morality if you get if you lost if you are hypnotized so strongly i don't know maybe no no what I, I don't think you understood the the context of hypnotization here the hypnotization was that according to as far as Shiva is concerned, she appeared like a real woman to to him, mm. and that's the reason he he ran towards her like a lustful no. elephant. I think I think then you don't know the, uh, the then then you then you don't know the uh, power of hypnotization of Lord Vishnu. You have to go and read it. No, actually, I'm I, telling no, you the power. No, the power no, no, was that no, Mohini no one can was save. an illusion for him, okay, mm. to test no him. No one can save himself on. from. You, I don't from think you you understand that if Shiva look. As far as I'm concerned, for you, these are okay. Hashim, uh, I'm sorry, I really need to go now. Yeah, okay. of course, no problem. Okay, but okay. it was unwilling. Uh, but it that was a good thing. And if he lost so, no. his sense of morality, no, then what kind I have, of God is that? I have, I have. It's not, it's not lost sense of morality when you have been hypnotized. Number he one, he ran towards and, a strange and, woman, and, 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 and he ran towards a strange, strange woman, woman, and he ejaculated. And, and number two, and no, number two, and number two, uh, and number two. Uh, you know, I have shown you that he requested number three. Uh, it was all done because so that he uh, ejaculates and Lord Ayappa has to be born because that that demon could have been killed from a male, uh, you know, male deity which was not born from a womb. Okay, and number four, actually, someone who does uh, promote slavery and something, it, it's your land prophet because uh, I can see from many hadiths, like uh, you, your prophet used to cap take captives from war and even had sexual in sexual intercourse with them, even their what, husbands. What about were, what about wish to having were. sexual intercourse with Tulsi? Yeah, okay, by, we, by pretending to be uh, her husband. Do you remember that? It was. Yeah, it was uh, okay. We will talk about okay. that as well. I know, okay. I know, I know that Jalanda okay. story. I know, okay. I know. You, sure, sure, you sure. Admit, would you now condemn? Okay. Will you condemn Vishnu? No, you wouldn't. Yeah, no, you no, wouldn't. no, no, no. Because yeah, your morality, it's, it's... your morality is skewed here. This is your yeah. God, by the way. For you to compare your God to my prophet itself shows that somehow, subliminally, you know, in your subconscious, you're bringing your gods down to earth no. like a human being. No, no, no. Again, again, you have number one quoted it out yeah, of yeah. context. You have By the way, would you story. condemn? Would you would you consider that to be rape, where he pretends to be the husband of Rinda? Would you consider yeah, that, that to be? Yeah, rape? he 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 pretended to be the husband of Rinda because yeah, by deception. Uh, yeah, having yeah, sex with a woman by deception. Because, would you yeah, condemn I'll, that? I'll let you know. I'll let you know because uh, he. He pretend he did that because Jalandhar could be killed only if his wife cheated on him. Number one, and for that he he Vishnu himself gave you know what with punishment to himself because as uh, you know incarnation of Ram. No, he was cursed he, by Vrinda. Listen, listen. Stop yeah. whitewashing things, man. The reason he, okay, he yeah. got cursed, your God got cursed by a by a mortal, should tell you you know that this is not a real God. No. So if 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 Vishnu wanted, he could have you know not taken that curse because he no, knew he, he, he had to. did something. He had no, no control we, we'll over. We talk about that. We, he has we'll no control over that. his karma. He has to yeah, face no, it. No, he, he. Am I right? No. By the way, Nikhil, no, no, am I right? No, Vishnu no. has no control over his karma. Do you agree or disagree? No, it's not. It's not true because. Can you answer the question? He, he Does could Vishnu? Have it? Hold on, hold on. Does Vishnu have control over his own karma, or is he subject to the karma? Yes, he does have does have control over his karma. So Vishnu controls all the karma in the world. Yes, he's the preserver of the world. Yeah. Show me, show me where he says Vishnu controls the karma. I challenge you. He, he is the preserver I of the world. You I and I challenge that. every Hindu who is watching this or listening to this, because you have no no evidence, no evidence whatsoever. Because every god in Hinduism, including the great Vishnu, the Shiva, and the Brahma, the Trimurti of Hinduism, all of them are subject to their karma. They all get cursed. They all get punished through karma. And they, that's the reason your gods are alive and they yeah. come as avatar. They, you know that? They, they, because they, of the karma. They, they get cursed when they want to. So he took... No, no, no. no. It's not in their control. 
grown from the from, karma is not in the control that's unless why, you can show me evidence why, for that unless you can yes. show me evidence for that okay sure i will we, consider we, what you're saying as just basically i'll show that i'll show that i'll show that in the next next meet will when okay, okay yeah. hashim thank you so much thank you all right nikhil thanks for your time thank you, thank you. Uh, they'll justify immorality if it's their gods.